40-year-old Nyongoma Antoinette, a resident of Undeje, Luero district, is a mother to three children. Nyangoma's last born Aine Mbabazi Drusilla was diagnosed with autism, a condition doctors pegged on having been born a premature. I got an accident when I was going to work, that was in 2005. It was a night shift. I fell down on a border border and Drusilla was born a premature, six months. Nyangoma realized that her two-and-a-half-year-old child was not growing at the same rate like others in the neighborhood. She could not speak, although she lived in a busy environment. It was a tough time for the family as Nyangoma sought answers from all sides. The first thing is I got saved. I became a Muslim. I slept in mountains, Bukalango, Chiwamirembe, with a girl, knowing that the next day the girl would talk. I did a lot of stuff. I went to witchcraft and I, the worst thing is when I, I had to give her these insects which make noise at night, they told me to cook them and put them in her food. I gave her and at the next day I thought she would talk. I waited, she didn't talk. All her efforts were in vain till she walked to Mulago Hospital where the reality hit her. It was here that her daughter was diagnosed with autism. It was a form of relief to the family, at least they now knew what afflicted the toddler. All what they read in the book was in. Later the lady told me, your daughter has autism. I was like, oh, I mean, because <laughs> I knew now I've got medicine for what? For my daughter. But later I asked, the lady went under the book, the table. I thought she was bringing something like medicine. <laughs> so when they, she brought another big book and told me, do you know a computer? I said, yes. Can you go and Google a word autism and you know what your daughter is suffering from? I said, it's okay. It turned into despair when the family was informed that there was no known cure for autism. All they had to do was embracing this new reality and love the child. You have to pray, you have to love your kid, you have to understand this situation, you have to accept. Autism is a developmental disorder characterized by troubles with social interaction and communication and by restricted and repetitive behavior. Problems soured when Nyangoma's husband disowned the child, insisting he could not give birth to a child with such a condition. Now, me, myself, I'm a victim. The dad of my daughter, when, after knowing that my daughter doesn't talk, she, he said at their home they don't give birth to such kids. And I wouldn't neglect her because it's me who carried her in my, to in my womb, so I wouldn't neglect her. Aine Mbabazi was later taken to Donna Center, a home for autism founded by Dorothy Nambi, also a mother to an autistic child. Nambi notes most Ugandans attribute autism to witchcraft, which affects the child's growth. So if we can maybe raise more awareness through such opportunities, then people will try to understand what is autism than people hiding in the dark because you find rich people having these children because society says oh there was like maybe some kind of witchcraft that went on. Aine Mbabazi is one of the many children at the center suffering from autism. Affected parents are now creating awareness on the condition across the country. I think we still have a lot of work to do like to do the awareness, sensitization, uh, because most people don't know and they think autism is a curse. Dr. Mayemba Moses, the lead doctor at Save Children with Autism Uganda, says they are both environmental and genetic causes to autism. There's genetic fact, there are genetic factors, genetic factors, but you have to combine them with environmental factors. But the very common environmental factors, you can find like a prematurity, giving birth at mature age. If a kid is born with a low birth, birth weight, if uh, the mom maybe got some illnesses during uh, pregnancy, at times when she gets like problems while delivering, maybe because the kid is deprived of oxygen, those are the major, major causes. People with autism may be severely impaired in some respects, but no more, or even superior in others. Unfortunately, most affected children are hidden from society, with many families considering them curses. Witchcraft is usually the first resort. Not many children with autism live independently after reaching adulthood, though some are successful. The World Health Organization estimated autism affected 24.8 million people globally in 2015. Many of the autistic children have been looked at as outcasts and a source of witchcraft. 
But if we help and care about these children, they can turn out to contribute to the political, economic and social development of this country. Violet Namata, NBS Live at 9. <laughs>